Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Stand with me. Before we ever pray, let's just lift our hands toward heaven and give Him praise tonight. <laughs> Who's worthy tonight? Amen. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name. Praise your holy, 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 holy name. We give you praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise your name. Hey, man. Hey, he's worthy tonight. Do you have requests before we pray? Amen. Hey, Roger, please pray for Glenn Nichols. He's my little paralyzed guy. He fell this week and he's got a hairline fracture where the hip and the leg joints together. And they're going to put him in rehab tomorrow. I called him today and he said that. He could do an exercise in bed. It happened Tuesday. Hmm. He said he could do an exercise in the bed since he'd been in the hospital. He says, I think I'll be home in two to three days. But he's a good Christian little man. But he needs prayer and he feels. What's the heart she's got? Big, huge blisters this time around her hand. She can't even get her rings off. And I've heard you keep for the prayer for that. I thought you prayed for her. Yeah. Remember this tonight. Nurses. Julie? Yes. Hey, amen. How did you say Charles was doing? Good, good. Anyone else? Just remember Sue tonight. Amen. Amen. Pray for him. Amen. Well, we've got much to pray about. Unspoken? Good, good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My soul is filled with glory. <laughs> Amen. All right. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Charlie, lead us to the throne of grace tonight. I got this is strong to my Lord, we pray for many of them, oh Lord, and the needs that have been answered, and Lord, that are in the process of being answered. So we give you praise and glory, Lord, not for Lord, uh, all the troubles that we see around us, but Lord, for all the good that Thou would do. We pray, Heavenly Father, with each one of these requests. Heavenly Father, you've been there, you Father, uh, Lord God, and uh, those the two that Linda spoke about tonight. Now you know their needs. Uh, Phyllis and Lord, uh, if she needs a touch. And Lord, you're able to touch her. But gentlemen, Lord God, with the hairline fracture, Lord, you're able to just seam that up and, and send him on his way. And then we thought of Charles, Heavenly Father. We, we prayed all along, not, not our will, but your will be done. So in a moment's time, Heavenly Father, you're able to make all corrections, put him back upon his feet. Heavenly Father, give him uh, more clarity in mind and do the, all things that are needed. And then, Heavenly Father, we thought of Alex. Continue, Lord God, to touch him. That, uh, that Lord, you'll be able to have, have this uh, uh, bone marrow surgery and have Heavenly Father, you'll soon be up and about the Father's business. And then, oh God, that, and we pray for those, uh, Lord God, that are going through a deep struggle. Thought of those many, Lord God, in, in Kentucky, Lord, and have lost their homes and all of, of their possessions. But, but, Heavenly Father, they still have their life. So, Lord God, make their life what you want it to be. And all we call of this unspoken request, you'll know all about it. Hallelujah. 
We're glad. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, Holy Spirit, tonight. Move in this place. Heavenly Father, too many times. Lord God, we ease in. And Heavenly Father, we ease out. But tonight, oh God, will not the fire of God fall afresh and anew. But put us under the spout, oh God, where the glory comes out. That, Lord, we might see great and mighty things accomplished in this place tonight. We give you praise and glory. We're so glad tonight. Heavenly Father, that we serve a risen Savior. Hallelujah. That's still on the throne. Have your precious right way. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, Charlie. I'm not even going to start tonight. I'm afraid if I start, I'll forget the other. <laughs> We're going to wait upon you for the evening offering. I make a, a lot of, uh, of jokes about it because it's, it's been a struggle ever since we, we've got started back to having the evening service and taking up the evening offering. Uh, a lot of times I'll forget, but that's nothing new. It happens every day. But we're glad that you're here tonight, and be it known that every cent that goes into the pot will be used for the glory of God. Art, ask the blessing upon the I offering. Have a problem, but truly thank you, Lord, that the Lord will give us another day. We are yours to you. Lord, we know you're always there with us, and Lord, as we know, you never forsake us. Lord, we just ask you to bless this offering you stand up. Lord, we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now you give tonight as the Lord's given to you. and threw the big one on me. Here I was looking around, I was like, my goodness, an awful lot of announcements. But I had two bulletins, so, <laughs> so maybe we can condense it to just one. Uh, after, after this evening service, uh, over in the fellowship hall, we'll have an ice cream social. And uh, we'll make it social so we can enjoy one another's company and they just, just have a blessed time. So if, if you, you can, come over and have a bite of ice cream and, and fellowship, and, and I'm sure you'll be glad that you did. Keep in, in, uh, in mind that on the first Sunday of each month, we're going to have uh, uh, breakfast in, in the fellowship hall there about 9 o'clock. Uh, we got a few weeks before we can look to that one again. So I, I, I won't announce it till time. Well, maybe I won't. Uh, please keep the youth in your prayers. Uh, and of course, with with every day, we want to keep our youth in our prayers, knowing they're getting ready to start back to school, and and we want to we want to make sure that that ours stay in the center of the will of God. Um, our revival with Brother Mike Blanton begins on the. 
26th of uh, September and runs through the 30th. And uh, evidence will be singing. Brother Mike will be preaching. And I know we'll have a good time in the Lord. And then uh, Wanda uh, got together a, a little thing where uh, next Sunday morning, uh, mon next Monday the 22nd is Sister Betty Bailey's birthday. And uh, Wanda suggested that we bring in a, a, a box or something. And, and if you've got a card uh, or if you've got a note you want to give to her for her birthday or if you've got uh, uh, candy or something, I know she likes candy, uh, bring it and, and I, I know she'll eat it. Uh, but uh, keep that in, in mind as next Sunday morning we'll be taking up that little uh, exchange uh, for, for Betty. Couldn't, couldn't announce it this morning. I told him to, uh, to get it early because she was coming in for, for Sunday school, and she did, and she thoroughly en enjoyed herself. Uh, I tell you when, you, when your heart is, is in the house of God, it's hard not to be there, and she's had a struggle the past four months or so. Uh, keep her in your prayers. I, I think that's all of the announcements. Can you think of anything that I didn't put on there? Okay. I guess we're ready to to uh, begin our singing. Uh, Roy, who's going to sing for us first? Robin and Robin Ann. We're having Robin and we're having uh, Mark uh, the, this evening going to sing uh, together for us. Down 
When I was trying to come up with a song for this evening, I kept thinking back, Charlie, of something you said this morning in Sunday school about how we can't walk without Him. And this song just come, kept coming back and back and back. And so um, I'm a little, I thought I was getting organized, but I'm more unorganized now, I think, um, with my CDs. I got busy one day and it took the whole afternoon just to get all of my CDs together in one location. <laughs> I had them scattered everywhere. So now I've got them all in one thing. And I was telling Steve, I said, I couldn't believe I come up with 75, 76 CDs and one's got 22 songs on it. I said, I sing about six. <laughs> but anyway, I, but I thought, now I know where my CDs are. It's going to be easy. Just grab one, go. No, it's not. If I want them, they're in my car, or if I'm in my car and I want one, they're in the house. <laughs> so I give up on trying to organize. But I'm just thankful that, you know, he does put a song in my heart. And I, too, would, I wouldn't want to try to walk one day without him. Just pray for me. I thought number one would surely be me. I thought I would be what I wanted to be. I thought I could build on life's sinking sand but i can't even walk without him holding my hand i thought i had done a lot on my own I thought I could make it all alone. I thought of myself as a mighty woman, but I can't even walk without him holding my hand. Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. 
the mountains are too high and the valley is too wide down on my knees I learned to stand but I can't even walk without him holding my hand I think that I'll make Jesus, my own, from now on when I'm in trouble, on Him I'll call. If I don't trust Him, I'd be less than a woman. Because I can't even walk without him holding my hand. Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. The mountains are too high. And the valley's too wide Down on my knees I learn to stand But I can't even walk Without you holding my hand got her talking to herself, so that's a good sign.
preaching I'll do tonight. I, once again, I've got a thought. And uh, if he comes, we'll preach. If he don't, we'll shut up and we'll go eat ice cream. How's that? I always like to leave the door open because he, uh, he's the one that's in control. Uh, I could get together a message probably. I don't know where it's good or not. And uh, and uh, preach for an hour and uh, not say nothing. But when he comes, in a moment of time, he can say more than, than we can say in a lifetime. Amen. In Malachi, the third chapter, I believe, is where we want to look this evening. Malachi chapter 3, that's the last book of the Old Testament. In the third chapter, well, 
We'll just read one verse. That way I won't make too many mistakes with one verse, and we'll go from there. <clears throat> verse 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, are ye not consumed? Would you bow your heads with us for a word of prayer? Our precious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come once again. Great is thy grace tonight. Marvelous is thy mercy, Lord, in your understanding. And we're so glad that, Lord, this little crowd can gather together one with another. You said we're two or three. We're gathered in your name. And thank God we come in that great and that mighty name called Jesus. We realize, Heavenly Father, that you're our everything. You're our all, both great and small. And Lord, with all things, we can praise you, and we do tonight, in Jesus' name, and amen. For just a couple of minutes tonight, I, I don't know how, how long we'll be. I may I preach, I may exhort, who knows what I, I'll do. But I, I thought of this. I am the Lord thy God, I change not. I, I thought of, we're living in, in a time when, when there's so many changes going out on, and, well, I think most of us come to place in, in our life where we don't like change. Uh, especially if the change aren't for the, the best, uh, we have a hard a time with it. But I thought when it comes to the things of God, and it, it comes uh, to the perfect plan of God, say, so, did you know that when God uh, made His plan for mankind, that it was a perfect plan and it didn't have to be changed one eye of it. And I thought of how that down through the years mankind has, has many a times of, of fallen down to below of the, uh, the, the, uh, the line of demarcation, so to speak, or, or whatever you, you want to call it. And they've had to, uh, to be uh, uh, kind of uh, chastised to the place to where that they began to look up and, and realize that, that without the, uh, the, the Almighty that, that they can do nothing. And we, someone said that here tonight, I can do nothing without Him. And, and I thought this evening, how good that it is to know uh, uh, that, that when we uh, that when we're living for the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, that there's a standard that's set there before us, uh, and God will not, uh, He'll not drop the standard because of, of the uh, the indiscretions of, of man, or because that, that man chooses uh, to try to uh, to lower the, the bar uh, just a little bit. The bar is there before us, uh, and, and, and Jesus, my friend, is our standard. The word Oh! 
Take us through every day, every step of the way. He is that God that changes not. Praise His holy name. Our Heavenly Father, we thank You tonight for all that You are to us, for Your blessings, for Your hope, for Your peace, for Your joy. Heavenly Father, we pray that as we go to the fellowship hall, uh, to fellowship, we ask You, Lord God, to bless the food that we're going to receive. And Heavenly Father, we'll just have a time of refreshing. Lord, bring us back to the next appointed time, ready to do business with You, and we'll give You praise and glory in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. God bless you.